Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Shout out my bro Dale for doing this for me. He uh, pressing, <laughs> pressing the buttons for me because goddamn, this should be difficult as fuck. Number one, be you. Number two, tell the truth. We too old to be lying. Number three, if you don't want to go to work, don't go. Go create some. Number four, if you ever feel like you stuck, get unstuck. It's easier to do it than see it. You got to make sure you believe that because that's a lie. But you got to believe that. And number five, this is the golden rule, number five. Sometimes you got to cry and then it's going to be okay. I don't do it. But my friends say it worked. So, go create. All right. My Instagram is Ivy Views underscore Ivy Views. That's underscore I V Y V I E W S. Ivy Views. Um, my creative page is Ivy Dot Views. The same thing without the underscore, but a dot in the middle. I know it's brand confusion, but just work with me. All right, cool. All right, uh, if y'all need anything, y'all can deep, don't DM me. Uh, actually, just come in. Just come in under my stuff. Get them engaged themselves. All right, that's it, bro. I'm done. So, what is your creative funk like? My creative funk? God, dog. What do that look like? Shit, me not getting nothing done, pacing the floor, I spent hours just overthinking something that possibly could be, be the easiest thing for me to get done. I just won't do it only because I feel like it has to be a certain way. This man said a true lifetime special. Oh, just to uh, get myself out of my creative funks. I get out away from the computer. I go outside. I mean, I'm meditating. I'm doing something differently from photography or editing. I probably go make some ramage. I draw. I think I said draw. I go play ball. Uh, what else do I do? Reading. I really enjoy reading. Reading is like escape outside of like the things I deal with on a day to day basis, and it gives you a different perspective on like the world. So that typically helps. It can even come from like talking to people. Ideally, I would love to like do my work around other creators, but as of right now, it's not really that realistic because I don't have other people just around me 24-7. Um, my favorite time of day to shoot really don't matter. I'm really confident in what I do, um, typically because I know how the sun and movement is in the sky, and I know how to use other lighting, well, artificial lighting to fill in when I need it. My favorite time of the day to brainstorm is, it has to be either early in the morning or late at night. Um, that's when my ideas like kind of run rapid as soon as I get up. And that's when I'm tend to jot out everything about my day. And as far as the things I'm thinking about, trying to move forward with doing. And as far as like that night, I don't know, you just trying to wind down, but your mind's still going. So that's pretty much how it be. Cool. Should try 10.30 a.m. What's that nice this boy said 10. Very inspirational. Every time, 10.30 a.m. Yeah. So, when you're talking about, sometimes I know with being a creative, uh, when you talk about the criticism that goes into your work, especially with clients, like, so how do you handle criticism um, that you may bring forth? When working with clients, I do my, I try my hardest to just not take any of that seriously. It's only because, like, when you work for a client, you, you have to adjust from what you're doing to fit their needs versus just trying to do what you feel is best for the project. And it's different from like doing your own personal stuff than working with someone else because your vision is completely different than theirs. And you can do all you want on a project, but if it doesn't match what they have fit in their mind, then it's pretty much a waste of time. No, no, it's difficult, but you gotta go with the punch sometimes. 
So let's talk about your personal projects. So I know you said you, with your client work, you try to keep it more in tune to what he wants uh, and kind of merge the ideas. But what about your personal projects? Yeah. How do you maintain creative passion for those? How do I maintain my own personal passion with, with my own creative projects? I don't know. It's feel like a a nudge to just like let it come out. So I'm doing anything and any and everything to try to make that idea a reality. I either listen to music to keep me inspired about what I'm thinking about. Typically, I'm writing about the idea, trying to find people that fit what I see in my mind, and then try to piece things together so I can try to make it come to life. I'll be honest, I really don't have one. And I say that because I think every artist will experience some type of burnout, and it's just like highs and lows that comes with being a creator. Hell yeah. I, um, I stepped away to take a small mental breaks from photography only because I felt like I needed to like just shift my perspective as far as like what I was doing with my work. You can spend a, a huge amount of time trying to work on something and really get nowhere with it. But sometimes like just taking a step away or drive around the corner or talk with someone else can easily just make you like readjust your focus to get back to it. I'm gonna say that one more time. I really think a lot of people can get over the things that they deal with. They learn to meditate in silence with themselves to see what they thoughts to get over what they're thinking. Uh, sometimes we don't know how to be alone and sit with ourselves to just understand that everything is really gonna be okay and you know connect with a higher source but you know that's a whole nother story for another day so, <laughs> uh, anyone that's want to do anything creative get up off your ass and do it i read recently that the work works and as long as you talk about it the more you discuss it uh well done is better than well said get out mess up Try again, learn from your experiences, and then just keep going after that. And you'll see in time, and that's the only way you will get better in time, is just to be patient with yourself and just keep trying. Stay blessed. Drink more water. Uh, call you. That relative that you ain't talked to in a while and tell them you love them. Hell yeah, man, just... Like they said, be yourself, bro. Y'all being everybody but yourself. Blessings.